Linton research shows that 78% of social sellers outperform their rivals in terms of sales. Additionally, they're much more likely to uncover sales prospects and meet their quota. Social selling is effective. When done properly, it aids in the development of relationships and credibility, two essential components of the B2B sales cycle. For B2B companies, social selling is using social media to create leads and fill your sales pipeline. This doesn't imply sending out mass emails to contacts using LinkedIn's cold email templates. That is similar to spammy selling, which eliminates all prospects of closing. It differs from conventional sales strategies since less emphasis is placed on a quick response, giving it a soft sales edge. Instead, each sales representative pursues the long game and concentrates on establishing relationships over time. To promote organic sales, agents use social media to build long-lasting relationships, communicate authority and trustworthiness, and show up on decision makers' radars. Social selling is becoming a significant component of lead generation for B2B sales teams or up against fierce competition. A tried and true lead generator is social selling. If you're not living under a rock, these sales techniques, lead nurturing, soft selling, warm outreach will sound familiar. Even while each term's precise phrasing and level of popularity changes, it'll never lose its significance. This is due to the fact that they stand for two sometimes disregarded components of a sales strategy, developing relationships and gaining trust. In B2B sales, these two factors are more important due to the lengthier sales cycles and multiple decision makers. Account-based sales, or ABS, and marketing are ranked as the top sales techniques by 99% of B2B marketers. However, implementing an ABS strategy can be costly and time-consuming, especially for smaller sales teams. Fortunately, there is a useful substitute, social marketing. Theoretically, social selling is easy. Long-term relationships are built with potential customers who will eventually require the product or service you're marketing. Social selling isn't just available on one particular platform. However, B2B sales representatives prefer LinkedIn since it is a potent prospecting tool. Here are strategies that can help you boost your sales. Number four, attract leads with the help of your LinkedIn account. Reflecting credibility through your personal brand is the first step to success in LinkedIn or any other social media platform. When a prospect examines your profile, they're making quick judgments about your reliability and your capacity to satisfy any needs they may have. Even if you believe your profile is completely optimized, it's a good idea to review it and ask yourself the following questions. Does my profile appeal to the customers I'm trying to market to? Then provide stories and information that compels readers to discover more about you. Always bear in mind what the LinkedIn algorithm wants when developing content for the platform. It will suffer more consequences the further you stray from that. For instance, guess how LinkedIn handles things when you link your prospects off of the site, as when you publish a link to a blog without providing any more context. LinkedIn wants users to stay on LinkedIn, unless it's something to celebrate like an acquisition, fundraising, or significant relationship, you receive a penalty and your post will be seen by negative 65% less people than it otherwise would. LinkedIn wants you to provide value to your audience, so consider how a Slack post with 12 specially created hashtags will do. You won't be engaged. Use a few hashtags in your post, but make sure they have a sufficient number of followers so that LinkedIn can understand how to classify your post using them. Keep in mind and treat the field with respect. You can begin to deviate from and slightly bend these principles once you've mastered them, but don't do it until you've mastered the foundational concepts. Number three, select the right communities and platforms for you. B2B businesses will virtually always wish to take part in at least one relevant Slack group as well as LinkedIn. Finally, if you sell to a market like engineering or venture capital, think about Twitter. Since it's the fastest growing and most relevant platform for B2B social selling, LinkedIn should be the ultimate default platform of record for your campaign. The beauty of LinkedIn is that each user's name, title, organization, seniority, and work history are automatically visible. Beginning here, proceed outward. Don't forget about other communities either. Look for Slack groups or other places where your customers congregate and discuss business. Your profile is similar to your company's website, starting with LinkedIn, of course. Make sure you seem the professional you are because this is your primary piece of real estate. Start with an intriguing, evocative, or simple title that reaffirms to your prospects your relevance to their work. Number two, connect with your target audience. It always pays to include a thoughtful note in a connection request sent to a potential buyer in your target market 
who's actively taking part in industry conversations, even if you already have a ton of LinkedIn connections and off LinkedIn acquaintances in your business. You will progressively accumulate a tremendous quantity of goodwill over time. If you repeat this several times per day, every day, you'll have given hundreds of people the beginning of a connection. It is a terrific idea to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to find and connect with the relevant people. To locate these folks, try doing a lead search with the posted in past 30 days filter selected. Next, posting 3-5 to five comments is the best course of action. Leave these on topics that interest your customers and that you find enjoyable. When logged in, go to the LinkedIn.com homepage and open your feed. Look for information that your customers are interested in. Now all you have to do is add a remark of your own to the article. Never stop at great post or awesome. Instead, share your experience with a comparable situation, express your opinion on the matter, tag a friend who might also like to read the article or do anything else you choose. If you're unsure of what to do, simply provide your honest, positive, professional reaction. Number 1. Use Listening Tools The issue with most social listening technologies is that they are designed for corporation social media managers to track certain hashtags and brand mentions on social media. The issue with this is that social selling and conventional social listening are not equivalent. Social selling entails face-to-face -face interaction with your customers. Therefore, you must pay attention to the specific people that matter if you wish to practice true social listening. For example, your most important clients who are active on LinkedIn or the competitors with a social media presence. Influencers in the market that affect your customers' perceptions and prospects who are establishing their brands need to be paid attention to as well. This is only the beginning. The fundamental idea behind social selling is to be seen performing good deeds in public. As many people as you can, teach. Work hard to acquire useful knowledge, then impart it to others. At the end of the day, social selling is not something you do for attention. You're doing it to improve your customers' interactions, your brand's growth, your income, and your company's performance. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to comment below about what you want to watch next, and stay tuned for more such amazing content.